Hey there, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. We got a great, great question from Anthony in Vernon Hills, Illinois. He had recently purchased the Pump Century 822 battery backup for a sump pump, and he was wanting to know kind of some installation instructions on how to set up multiple batteries so that he could get a longer runtime. Stay tuned. Okay, Anthony, uh, first of all, I want to thank you for getting the uh, Pump Sentry. It is a great, great product. And what makes it such a unique product is that it can be set up on multiple batteries like you're wanting to do, but also it's a retrofit product for uh, a sump pump that's already installed. Most battery backups, you have to take out the old sump pump and then install a dual sump pump system. So this one is designed to make your current sump pump run in the event that you lose power. Now the 822 is only good for a sump pump that runs at a maximum flow of about nine amps, uh, about half horsepower or smaller uh, in most cases, although it could maybe push a three quarter horsepower, but they do make a bigger model, the 1622 for those, which we don't currently have online at our DIY store, but maybe check back later and we might be carrying those. But the 822 has been a great product for us and we've had a lot of people install it themselves. So let's get into exactly what you would need, some of the items you would need to uh, make a parallel battery install on the 822. This is obviously what the unit looks like. Here is the positive and negative uh, outputs for the batteries. And uh, you're gonna also need a, a, a deep cycle uh, size 27 is what they recommend. They do have some other batteries that they recommend. We like the Optima battery. This one could be purchased at Pet Boys or even on Amazon, uh, different places like that. Uh, there is a core charge of about $18 most of the time. So it's about a $320 battery plus tax, depending on where you're at. Uh, great, great battery. So you can take three of these, uh, according to um, uh, the people over at SCC, you can take three of these and line them up in succession so that it gives you a longer run time. One battery is typically good for 50 to 200 cycles, depending on how much water's coming in. So you could triple that basically. So another thing you're going to need is one is extra cords, which we're going to make available when you purchase the, uh, pump sentry. You can add extra cords if you're going to add extra batteries and I'll get into that. So let's go to, uh, to what it looks like right here. So this is basically the terminals that's going to run from the pump sentry to the batteries. Now, the way this unit is installed is exactly the way you would want to install it. It needs to be up and over the sump pump. All that's in the install manual. I'm not going to cover a lot of that. But if you go to our DIY store and uh, you scroll down and you click on the pump sentry right here and you go down to the bottom, this is where you can add those extra parallel cables if you need to. But if you scroll down to the very bottom of the d diagram, it shows a little video of me, uh, but also um, it shows right here the, uh, the manufacturer brochure number one. And when you click on that, it'll open up to this page here. So this is a quick diagram of how to install. So this is the normal installation where you've got the one marine battery. Uh, never use a normal car battery. You always want to use a deep cycle 27 marine battery. Uh, there's the pump sentry and then there's your outlet. So the pump sentry plugs into the outlet. The uh, black and red cords plug into the positive and the negative on the battery and then the unit plugs in here. So as the unit loses power or as your house loses power, uh, it converts uh, from AC to DC power and then back and forth. The nice thing about this unit is it, it uh, does a trickle charge so it keeps the batteries charged and all that. But right here in this page two of this diagram shows you exactly what you need to do to make this run in parallel. So let's say this is battery one right here that is connected directly to the pump sentry. Then you would take battery cables and hook it to battery two, negative to negative, and then battery three, negative to negative. Battery one to two, positive to positive, battery three, positive to positive. Very easy install. You also wanna make sure these batteries are inside a battery case, which is also available uh, at your auto parts store or on Amazon. Uh, just a little plastic case that the battery will sit in in case there's ever any leaks or anything like that from the battery. So you can see very easy install. 
Uh, but a couple things I wanted to cover is make sure that you are always running in parallel and not in series. And I just want to, for safety's sake, cover that, okay? So you always want positive to positive, so red to red to the pump century, black to black, on the battery so negative to negative for all you electrical guys out there i know this is uh super simple stuff and you're probably looking at me like i'm crazy but there's a lot of people out there that don't uh, understand and they would try to hook it up negative to positive so you never want to do a negative to positive in a parallel that's called a series connection so we want to stay in a parallel connection so anyway great question out there anthony appreciate you watching the youtube channel and doing the ask a ninja and my name is michael church with crawl space ninja hope you make it a happy and blessed day we'll see you later